So, hey guys, Chowsy here. As I'm sure you've heard, we're getting a Super Pirate Rumble where we're getting copies of Shiki. And if you know the drill by now, this very likely means that 6 plus Shiki is arriving in basically a week with the Kisuna Clash. I am really excited, like we weren't sure they'd ever do 6 plus for movie legends. So it's cool I finally do it and it works perfectly for Film Red collab. I thought I'd talk a bit about what I expect from Shiki, how they could buff him, how they could make use of what he currently does, and then maybe the future for other movie legends going forward. But yeah, let's take a quick look at what OG Shiki does. Captain ability, boost decks, intent quick hurts attack by 2.75 times, HP by 1.35 times. And if you hit in a specific order of color, you get 4 times attack. And he makes crews, recovery, and tandem slots have matching slot effects. So obviously not good by today's standards. And uh, Captain Bill is like this that require you hitting in a certain order to get the optimal damage is never good. And it's even worse when the order you have to hit in is basically colors and widely different colors at that. So basically if you use this Shiki as a captain, only way you get four times attack is if you hit with Dex in the quick, that means three units don't get the full boost. So yeah, they're super restrictive and yeah, I assume there will be some changes to that. And making recovery matching fits well with what Shiki does. If we look at the special, he does a 99% HP cut. Deals 30 times the HP lost in non-type damage to all enemies. And changes all slots, including block to recovery. And yeah, I think this is still pretty solid. Like, it's obviously not doing enough, but the base premise is fine. Like, this can do a lot of damage depending on the HP of your crew. And with captains getting stronger, often you can have over 100,000 HP pretty free. And yeah, full board orb manip into recovery is still very good for sure. So in order to think about how they'll buff Cheeky, we need to try and extract all the information we can get from President. And one thing we can see is that sometimes they try and make use of sailor abilities if it makes sense. I'd really much like this to be buffed to the whole crew with the 6+, plus, but I don't really think that's common at all. Not sure if it even happens, I'm not expecting that. Uh, one thing that could happen though is the other sailor, which makes him immune to special bind. So it's possible that the 6+, plus Shiki will remove special bind in order to make use of this. As an example, if we go back to We Tsunami, she resisted special reverse, but did nothing with it in her special. And then when Nami got her 6 plus, suddenly she could reduce CD as well, which made her a lot better. So this basically just takes use makes use of stuff she can already do. So I think removing special bind is a pretty safe guess. And obviously adding special bind removal to full board or manip into recovery already makes him better. If we continue talking about special, I do expect the HP cut to remain the same. One thing I can talk a bit about about how they can make take advantage of that in the captain ability, but one thing they could do in the special potentially is increase the r recovery when using the special if you want to heal back by consuming the recovery orbs. Uh, it's very common nowadays to add orb blocks. So I think they could add an aura block as well, so you can keep the recovery as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the damage you do 30 times will be significantly buffed. It's not useless as is, and like when we have max special ship and such, using Shiki 
to do tons of damage is a legit strat. So if I get a very high buff here, he could pr turn out to be surprisingly viable to do tons of damage. But of course, that's just that's pretty niche and mainly for farming cotton candies and stuff like that. Other than that, like you can probably expect him to get some buff as well. But it feels pretty impossible to guess what buff. Just some buff, maybe a combination of buffs. Uh, maybe some way to let him get his special back again. Like two of the three most recent uh, Kizuna 6 pluses. That's just some ideas. But I think Shiki has a solid foundation. So it's not hard to buff him. But he'll continue to do what he does, just do even more things. Uh, Captain is a bit of a bigger issue. Uh, they really need to rework the hitting decks in quick order. Like if they keep this specific condition for, an, uh, for a buff, like I, what I do is just do five times attack to decks in and quick. And if you hit in this specific order, you will get like a 5.5 times or like it should be higher than 5.5 times but i don't see them doing that but i do something like that personally uh there is actually precedent for changing stuff like this like we took kusan got a six plus recently and originally he needed you to do like Sai Sai quick order, which is obviously awful since I already talked about it. You need it with three units before getting the good buff. But with the six plus, this was changed to hitting with Sai into quick, which is still not optimal, but at least it's just two units, not really doing the optimal damage. So if they change this to something even better, like uh, you need to hit with the uh, Dex into a quick unit two times to get this buff, something like that, or hit with the uh, Dex or Int unit and then a quick unit, something like that. That will go a long way to make Shiki a lot more usable as a captain, together with buffed numbers. Uh, definitely keep keeping recovery tandem matching. One thing I think they could add to him which is getting more common nowadays, is the consuming recovery orbs when hitting perfects. Will make a lot of sense in my opinion. Maybe add a recovery boost to the captain as well, just so you can even heal even more. Maybe even add some benefit that if you heal enough you get some beneficial effect. Like I'm not sure if that fits his character or not, I'm just thinking from a uh, an interesting gameplay perspective but yeah i'm pretty excited about this nice funny to get some legends revived like this that we maybe never thought would get revived uh, i did predict a movie legend for this month but i thought it would be stampede luffy because i don't i didn't see them returning to any other movie legend to give a six plus but i'm happy to be proven wrong but yeah that leaves the question with the other legends like tesoro suffer and the gang like will they ever get a buff either like i have hard time thinking they'll get a six plus anytime soon I'd be happy for Bandai to prove me wrong and continue to do movies 6 pluses after the red collab is over. But one thing that should happen, could happen soon, but should happen relatively soon anyway, is the addition of level limit break buffs. As you see, my, my Tesoro is ready for that. And that would be pretty exciting, I'd say. And I'd say it's realistic to happen this month to make full use of the red collab. Like we're probably getting the next Super Sugo Fest at the end of the month. And just together with that, we will get a level limit break ba batch. So it will be cool to add some Moo Legends as well. One thing to consider with that though is that we're due the next Gram Voyage. And usually the batches released include units to be used in the next Grand Voyage. 
And most of us are assuming that like we want Sanji, maybe we want Mihawk is up to be used in the Grand Voyage. So will they do just a normal level limit break batch and not include movie legends? Or will they maybe wait with that Grand Voyage? Like I've had a fun idea of doing like a Grand Voyage with Uta in the same mission as Local Sea Monster, just an, an, another mission next to Local Sea Monster, like versus Shanks or something. I think that will be fun, but I don't think it's very likely. So yeah, I guess that if we do get movie legends level in break this month, it will be together with some normal legends as well for the upcoming Grand Voyage. But yeah, just a little talk about the next 6 plus. Always exciting to get. Like the last, like all 6 plus since the level limit break introduction have all been super good. So I have a lot of hope of Shiki also getting the deluxe treatment. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.